Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm gonna cover update 17, which is what it should be called, but it's called a small update by N Night. I don't know why they've done this, but the full release update was technically 16. This one should be 17. Maybe it isn't going to be, I don't know. You had a good system going N Night, why'd you mess with it? Now, before I get started, I should know that this first one has actually got a bit of spoilers in it, but it's the most important one. And that is that they've added a new armor type. Now this is actually bone armor that's been cooked in solid fight so basically you've got armor plating and weapon plating they're two separate structures the armor plating was added in the full release and it only had one purpose now it's got another purpose and what it does is it converts up to 10 pieces of bone armor for 12 sulfite it doesn't matter if you use less bone armor it's still going to cost you 12 sulfite and it will upgrade the bone armor to what i believe is sulfite armor it's actually what it's listed in the game code in terms of the health of the armors leaf armor has 20 hide armor has 40 bone armor has 65 Creepy armor has 80, tech armor has 100, and solidified armor has 130. So it basically doubles the amount of armor that the bone armor has. Based on these numbers and the difficulty of, say, like tech armor being only 100 and creepy armor being 80, the armor values really need work. And don't get me started on the weapon values. They're all messed up. A lot of them don't make sense. Some things are just way overpowered and there's barely any balancing. See the katana of this game, for example. But while you're waiting for the armor to cook, you will get attacked by two waves. It's the same as how weapon plating works. When you're doing an upgrade, you'll get attacked by a group of mutants and puffies. So it's encouraged that you build a base with traps to protect yourself because fighting these on your own without traps is going to be a nightmare. You might end up losing the amount of armor that you're trying to create. So if you're curious how much health you can get now, because that's what armor is, it's basically health. You can get 300 health with 100 lot of strength, right? And 1,300 health with solidified armor. So technically the player's health can go up to 1,000 600, which is quite substantial. I think armor is improving. I have never been a fan of it in this game. I think my main issue with it is how long it takes to craft versus how long it takes to lose it. Maybe it's to encourage the players to fight better, but working out how weapons work in this game is quite difficult on its own. I haven't been playing the game much, so I haven't really tested out how things are now with the new strength additions and such, because I've been too busy with life. To find this armor plating, you will need to go to the end door. The golden door, I think they call it. I'm not sure. And that's where Timmy is later on in the game. And the blueprint for it is right next to it. They added the ability for Kelvin to get in the golf carts. Now, I played around with this a little bit. You have to get him to follow you before he will jump in. So if you just drive up to him, if he hasn't got any orders, say if you just loaded a game and you get in your golf cart and drive up to him, he will just look at you. So instead, you have to get out, write on a piece of paper, tell him to follow you, then get in the golf cart, and then he'll get in the golf cart. I really hope they expand some of the commands that you can do with this game. Maybe taunts or whistles or something like that. You could just look at him and press, I don't know, T, and he will just jump into the golf cart. It doesn't say Virginia can, but it'll be interesting to see if Virginia could because you might be able to use weapons on it. The game is definitely getting more immersive as the game goes on. Going off topic, but I think a lot of the problems this game had was because of the restrictions it had. And now it feels like N Night are relaxing on a lot of those restrictions and such. God, this is supposed to be an update video. I'm just talking crap. They also added a seat occupied indicator on the golf cart. It's this little thing to show you what seats are available in it, kind of like a real modern car. Next is probably one change that I've wanted for so long that they just never added. And this is something that bothered me in the forest. And that is that they've allowed players to carry 16 bones instead of 15. Now, I know this might sound silly to some people, but what this means is that you can craft four pieces of bone armor instead of three and having three bones left over because it made armor creation and picking up bones so much more of a hassle. My other suggestion was for them to lower the bone count of the armor from four to three. And then that way the player could make five bone armor. So they didn't have to change the carry amount from 15 to 16, but either way is fine. I'm happy. Next is that auto foundation now allows snapping at various heights instead of only at the highest. This is really good. The foundation system that was added in the full release is a great addition, but it was kind of limited by its height. Now you can go up and down and pick the height you want to place at. It's going to make building with them a lot easier. I did find that the glider launch pad still doesn't connect. I'm sure they'll fix that one, but you can even add it at half height, but that's dependent on what it's attaching to. Next is that raccoons will now trigger some trap types. I didn't know that they couldn't trigger the traps before. I tested out the small traps and they all got caught in that one. And then I tested all the other traps and the only one that would trigger them was the, the spring trap, which is good because you don't really want to be using the big traps on little creatures. It's not their intended purpose. I made a change that eagles will now sometimes grab fish out of the water. I spawned 50 eagles at a pond or a lake that I knew had fish 
and they didn't swoop down and get any. I thought it would be cool to see another immersive thing, which is kind of cool, but that didn't happen. Maybe you just can't spawn 50 eagles and expect it to happen. It's probably the case. Arrows and spears are now easy to collect after thrown or shot. I think this is a major issue because I think the collect box was probably exactly where they were. So a big thin line trying to line up your middle of your screen with it was quite difficult. It's probably especially important for when they're in bodies as well because the bodies collect button would probably interfere with this one. So hopefully it fixes that. The next one is strange. They said balanced fire torch. I'm not a big fan of patch notes or update notes that say they have done something without actually saying what they've done. I don't know what balanced fire torch means. Does it increase the damage? Does it decrease the damage? Does it make it brighter? Does it make it dimmer? Does the cloth need replacing or doesn't it? I don't know what this means. This is more of an issue I have with some of the update notes that they use. They just aren't specific on what they've changed. But that's the end of this update. It's a rather short one. Here's some fixes they made. Uh, they weren't enough to mention in the video, so I'm just going to have them listed here. I'm not sure if they're going to continue doing updates like this. I hope they go back to the numbered system. It makes it easier for the players to understand and and for wikis and such to list changes. They haven't done this before, which I find strange. They always numbered the patches. There's numbered patches and then there's hot fixes. And this is completely different. But anyway, it's still more content. They're going to keep working on the game. And I think maybe that's what this was, is to show that now that the full release is out, we're going to keep working on the game. This isn't the end. So yeah, anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.